Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, we are in the pedestrian area in Scalea today because I got a line on some really cool apartments right above one of these gelato shops. There's three apartments in total and I think they're gonna be pretty cool. So let's go take a look. The apartments are right above this Dolce Amata, which is a gelato place, which you're, you would be right above a gelato place. What's not to love about that? Plus, I see a coffee cup, a pasticceria, a bar. Oh my gosh, everything you need is right there for the morning. And this is the pedestrian area, which is just really a lovely, lovely area for walking. There's always people out here, even in wintertime. It's kind of wintertime now. It was really kind of cold up in Santa Domenica. Much warmer down here and less wind, but there's always people. So I love that. So we're going to go take a look. Here is the front door and we're going in. They have these beautiful little Juliet balconies up above. I can't wait to see these places. Okay. What's your body disorder? Oh, she says, Oh, she says, Oh, beautiful marble steps. This is the communal area. This terrace no, appertains to this apartment, and also you have the roof terrace. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's really big, this one. That's yes. a lovely, oh, somebody's going to snap this one up, I can tell you. How many cameras are there? There are in all nine stances, but three. It's actually really quite huge. Okay. Inside is this beautiful little soggiorno area. The ceilings are very high. Almost 200 square meters of space. Now here is a good sized bathroom. And it looks to be in really good shape. There seems to be... There seems to be a lot of space. I don't see... Oh, there's a little bit of a moisture issue up there. We'd have to have Antonello address that. There's a terrace above that, so I would wonder if it's coming from the terrace. That would be my first guess. You might have to redo something up there. But again, we could price that out. Okay, we're going to the next room here. Oh, I love this. You have another big, big room. Now, the distribution of the rooms can be changed. There's a kitchen here. Big kitchen, wow. It's huge. You've got big pantry area here. In here, you have your washer. And there's a little tiny service bathroom here as well. Hardly worth mentioning. What I would do, okay, first of all, this washer is huge. You don't need a washer that big if you're on vacation. I'd move that washer out of here, put in a much smaller sink, and put in a new toilet. And probably, you know, a little love around the rest of the place here. I would salvage these old shutters and these doors because they really are quite amazing. Now the kitchen looks to be in good shape too. The cabinets seem okay. I would swap out the countertop. But the cabinets seem to be well made. You could paint them. You could leave them as is. You could do whatever. It's a nice kitchen. And it's very big. Now out here... Out here... You have a little kitchen terrace, and it really is a nice little terrace here. You got somebody's lemon trees down below. I'm sure if you talk to the neighbors, you could get some lemons. But it's a good sized terrace, and it's got a little cover over it. And there you go. Very nice. And I see air conditioner up there, so there's an air conditioning split. I also okay, here's this room here. Again, you can rearrange the distribution. There's a lot of little ante rooms and things like this. Here's a nice little bedroom that you could make. And the floors are very interesting. I don't know, these look to be like the cement 1920 tiles that uh, 
that we love, they've got a little bit of um, cement look to them. So they might be from the 1920s. Here you've got a window, looks out onto that little terrace, lots of light. I love these giant windows. I would redo them. Um, very pretty. And these interior doors, now these are quite a thing up in Santa Domenica. They, they take them, they refinish them, they put them back in because they're sort of a nod to the old days. This is a lovely, lovely room. This room area could be a little sweet. If you wanted to make this a B&B, you could so easily set it up as such. You've got this big piece of furniture here. There are some gorgeous pieces in this house. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I bet you Antonello could tell us what date that came from. Very pretty. Out here, this, okay, this window opens up onto the pedestrian area here. It's not a terrace or a, a balcony per se, but it is a little balconcino, a little step out balcony. And from up here, you've got the whole pedestrian area at your fingertips. I mean, how lovely would it be to sit out here with a little chair, look down below, say hi to all your friends as they pass. And I want to say also that this pedestrian area is really close to the beaches. I mean, you just basically go down a block and across the street and the beaches are all there. All the restaurants are, Cha! <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I just saw my clients here down in the pedestrian area. There are altogether nine rooms in this house. Sono persa. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, here I've not here. seen this one. Oh, ooh, okay. You have to get a really good view of this room. First of all, I'm gonna pan the room here. You have some central heating, beautiful, beautiful piece of furniture, adjoining doors, giant windows, and a huge space that you could make as a, a soggiorno or a pranzo. But check this out, this is the best part. Look at that ceiling. Pin, pinto, sí. un fresco. Dipinto mano. Oh, a mano. Okay, hand painted. So this Mark. is hand painted ceiling and it really is stunning. And then here you have another window that overlooks the pedestrian area. I won't go out because I, did, I was just out there, but it's right next to the balcony we were just on. Okay, oh, here's, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, now here's another huge room here. Again, with beautiful, beautiful pieces in it. These are all vintage pieces and they are in beautiful shape. They look to me to be around 1920s, I think, maybe. I don't know, but whoever kept this house kept it in spectacular shape. Now check this out. Oh my goodness. Wow. This place is spectacular. Again, if you want to run a and b if you want to have a place where all your families come to visit you, just luxuriousness, beauty. Here's another window that looks out onto the pedestrian area. And I want to point out there's at least three gelato shops on this block which is a huge selling point in my opinion. Now over here, wow, hello. Look at this amazing armadio. And another big floor to ceiling window that looks out onto the pedestrian area. And here, more of these cement tiles. Now this I think looks out into the entry. What I love about these old houses, they have doors and windows that connect onto the, the various different places in the house. And it's always like a little puzzle. Like I got lost earlier in this house. And again, here's your pedestrian area. Very, very nice. Look at this cart, oh my goodness. I would love to go shopping in this house. I may be making an offer on some of these pieces of furniture if they want to sell them because look at them. They are amazing. Okay, in the kitchen here, there is a spiral staircase to take you to the roof terrace. Let's see how I can negotiate this. Okay, we came up the spiral staircase and there is a roof terrace up here. Wow. Yes. 
and also Torre Talao. Yeah, and there's the pedestrian the beautiful area. Sea. Yes, you do get a sea view up here. This is very nice. I would make this wall shorter because up there, the Talao Tower, that is really sort of, you know, an iconic symbol of Scalea. Up here you have more view. It's a nice outdoor space. I would put a, an awning up or something. I would get rid of this wall here and possibly even put up a railing if you can. I, I don't think this part is structural. I'd have to check with Antonello, but I would cut that off halfway down so that when you're sitting, you can see the sea. Now down below, there is a terrace that also goes with this house. It's like an indoor courtyard. So pretty. You could put all kinds of plants in there, a lovely table outside and have dinners and family meals. It's really, really pretty. And the tiles look to be in great shape. Wow. Okay, this is huge. This is the attic up above and it is giant and there's plenty of room. <clears throat> yeah, and actually the walls, the side walls are quite high so that you do have a lot of usable space in this attic up here. Amazing, and here's another grain box. Okay, wow, yeah, there's a room here. There's a lot of Antonello questions that I would have. This roof looks pretty good. Can be used like a store. I don't want because we will go to sleep with him. Yeah. So here, oh my goodness! Yeah, a little cantina. Is, yeah. The so here was a kitchen. Yeah. The old kitchen because the house was the house of 